Um, ATO, I don't think is anything, but I'll look at it. No, nothing. No, nothing. Uh, I have the charts up now, yes. So we have one thing, this TLYS, and that's it. And the problem is it's kind of thin and very spready. So I would have rather done DLTR, but now we can't do it. And EXPR is not that interesting to me here. Uh, this would be more of a late setup if it's set up. And so I really wouldn't, I'm not excited about this at all. What the heck did we do yesterday? I can't even think. Quick, what did we do yesterday? I don't remember. Quick, 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 quick. Nobody was quick enough. Too late. Okay. Well, we could watch that today if we don't get anything in this. All right, we're going to take it easy today. Yesterday was a good day, and the one I liked is not even gapping down now. I do think this is worth watching, but it is very spready and does not have a big target. So we'll see what we get. I'm not going to be heavy-handed today, though. I can tell you that right now. CHS is done. Tip could continue. Tip is worth watching if it sets up. This isn't open yet. All right, there it goes. No one should be leaning on their keyboards this morning. No one should be leaning on their chairs. Arc is not going to hold if it doesn't hold right away. Man, this was a bust. Okay. Watching. Basically watching everything. Okay, sitting here watching this, still no volume, and waiting and watching, and the volume could come in, and it opened late, and we don't have anything else to watch, so this is worth watching, and I'm not even anywhere near the keyboard, so no one should be sitting on anything but their hands right now. Gosh, I wish this looked more interesting to me, because it actually has volume. Okay, T-L-Y-S, I'm watching, and I'm not doing anything in this right now with this lack of volume. So, uh, this I'm still watching this. And this really has no volume at all. This doesn't get the volume in the next two minutes. I'm passing on this completely. It's just, in fact, it doesn't even look like it's moving, even though it actually is moving, and that's bizarre. So, gosh, you may have to do EXPR and nothing here today. So I'm flipping the EXPR. The other one doesn't have enough volume at Tilly's. Uh, 
I don't even think that was Gath and Qualibear. Let's do, this is very aggressive. Let's do 75 by 05. 75 by 05 EXPR if it hits. 75 by 05 for a quick trade in EXPR short if you want it. Uh, that wasn't gapping to my knowledge, Koala Bear. If I'm wrong, write it in the room, the reason for the gap, and I'll take a look at it. I don't want to move off of something here. We're not going to get anything. Chili's is too thin. 75 is valid here in the XPR. 50 GS gapped. I want a reason. You write it in the room, and I'll look at it. Otherwise, I'm not going to move off of this, or we may not get anything today. Don't, don't jump the gun on this. This may not set up. Chili's is too thin. Is it going to hit right here or it's going to reverse and not work? So don't be in it until it hits. Gotta go right now, or it's not gonna work. There, get it, get in it right now, and put the stop in. Six oh five. Oh my god, I just said it's gonna go right now. It's not gonna work. Get the stop in at six oh five. Be in it, be in it. Five fifty is the first target. Here, I'll write it in the room. We're doing a quick trade because we have nothing else to do, and we have absolutely nothing else to do. Market is heavy, heavy, heavy. And not touching this with the, anything at all. Okay, here, here, you have to do it now or you're not doing anything today. Here it goes, one quick trade. And we're not worried about risk to reward, even though Galahad worries about that every second. We're just making money today. There really wasn't anything that great. We're doing this for a quick trade, that's it. Or you do nothing. Some days you have a huge opportunity, which we did yesterday, we'll review it. And some days there's nothing to do. And some days you have a plan of action, and then all of a sudden it changes right before the open, which is what happened today with the LTR. Here, EXPR, one quick trade, through the low, out, done. You see what? I don't know what you're talking about, and I can't move away from this because this could go right down and we're getting out. You either did this trade or you didn't do anything today, or you did something else, I don't know. Sorry, I can't look at anything now. You did this, you did it. If you're in it, you're in it. Is anyone in this or not? 66. You stinker, here. It's gonna break below, just gotta wait a second. I, uh, I did see that earlier, but then I didn't go back to it. No, I don't like to do these things, and you people know that. Look at it. First of all, it's not going to work, and second of all, I don't like to do these. <sighs> all right. Tiff is going to fall, but it's kind of a mess right now. This thing here, did it do anything? This was just bizarre world. I don't like the way it's moving. I don't like the way it's trading. It looks like this is falling, but I'm not in it. I didn't call it. I just, this, I didn't like anything about the way this was trading. Looks like it's just untradeable to me at this point. But it fell. 
Here, EXPR, if you're in it, you're in it for one quick trade. If you did the other one, then you were just risking the farm today because it traded, it wasn't hardly moving. No volume and ticks. If you're in EXPR, stop at 605. And were there any decent longs? Target I just wrote in the room. Here, I'll copy and paste it again. Right here. That's what that was. It doesn't mean we're holding it till there. It means you're watching that number in case it goes right there. It could go past that. We may get out before that. It's an area. These things aren't set in stone. Market is crazy today. Were there any good longs? Gyro, did you look at any bullish gaps? Is a &F gapping? Because I didn't see that gapping this morning, but I'll look at it. Oh, it was a gap up? No, this is nothing here. It's a piece of crap. Tip's going to take a while to drop. It's fighting itself. It's fighting its own energy. Here, EXPR is the only thing we'll make money in this. I have no idea how much, and it doesn't matter as long as we're profitable. Let it drop, let it break. The low is 66. Tip is going to take a while to go, but we will fall off a planet at some point. Could be today, could be tomorrow. TECD had a very big move, and you could have just got in and got out. This looks incredibly thin and spready for this price point. But it is, it, it had a move. If you want to get nuts, you can take more of EXPR here. I'm not going to do that. I don't think there's any reason to get nuts today. Oh, box. I looked at that last night, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. And boy, I didn't like it at all. And that was good too. Yep. This is a complete and total failure. I did see that last night and I didn't like it. Let's stick with what we have going on here. And I'll keep watching this. This is just struggling with its own life here. EXPR into 75, we should clear through and break through the low, and then we drop, and then we're out. Slim Pickens here this morning once DLTR reversed, and that was really so lovely. It was just unfortunate. And now this is a mess too, uh, but it was, I mean, this, was a, this is a huge reversal actually, so I'm not surprised it's rallying and probably does rally and continue rallying and go to some sick number like even 90, but I'm not doing this. This, you know, obviously you wouldn't do this, but usually when they do that, they go crazy then, like crazy birds, and that's what this is doing. I mean, this, this probably is gonna go to 90, but the stop here is like three and a half bucks or more. Okay, EXPR. Keep watching Tiff. Tiff wants to fall off a planet. I know it. When is that going to happen? I got to keep watching that. I'm almost inclined to do this here as well. I just think this is gonna have a big move. Let's do, if this hits, let's do TIFF. 99 by, and I'm gonna be t very tight with this. 99 by 50, 99 by 50 TIFF if it hits. 
99 by 50 Tiff. This is a snail. And Tiff could really, oh crap, this is going to hit. 99 by 50 Tiff. If you want it short, two trades. XPR is a snail. Short, this is a short. And again, wait till it hits. I thought it was going to there. 99 by 50 Tiff. And it's 94.50. For those of you that don't know, and if you don't know, you shouldn't be doing this. So it's 99 by 94.50 stop. Short tiff. If it hits, EXPR is a snail. Part of the reason I didn't want to watch that out of the gate, but. I mean, it might be out of the, oh, I just got hit out of this. No, I just got stopped in this. Leave it, leave it be. Leave it be, we're going to do tip. I just got hit right out of the XPR. Well, plan of action here has changed, and this will work better. Be out of the XPR, it stopped. And I was going to do this either way, so. Guess we're doing tip two days in a row. Ninety nine by fifty. If you did EXPR, you got to be out. Shouldn't have gone anywhere over six. Stop with six oh five. I got hit out, and you shouldn't be in it anymore. And do not retake it. In fact, just do this here. Just do this here. This is gonna go. Put the stop at ninety four fifty, just in case it has a big bar. You can take it right now at ninety three. Put the stop at ninety four fifty. Tip, and we'll look at the targets. The target today is ninety. This is a big target. So got stopped in EXPR. We'll go over it in a second. This is going to break the low of yesterday, which is 92. So 90 is not even a dream number. Let's just look at the market here. Okay, we were destined to do this two days in a row. All right, so EXPR, I'm not retaking. I got stopped out. And the irony is that I was looking at TIP and then this stopped. So be out of this. This really didn't have a big target. I was up in here. Again, no reason to get out. Didn't break the low. Could have killed it. Looked good here. Said this is just a snail. I thought it would baseline here and then pop. So you got to be out of this. I wouldn't even retake this at all. We had the stop right in here where it touched, but now at this point over six, I think it's a done deal. So this, oh crap, here, you got to be in this. I think this goes today. This, this, well, let's go over this right now. Some of you, meaning Galahad, I know, screwed this trade up royally yesterday. Now, some of you got out early in the morning. I didn't have a problem with that at all, and I said you could have. Koala Bear got out in the morning. Jackie got out in the morning. That was okay. Who in here actually held this and got the move, which I said what I was going to do and did exactly what I said? Who did it? This was a big trade if you did it right. Some of you, I hope you did it right. Who did this trade right yesterday? Anyone? And Jairo, I know you signed out. Did anyone on the planet wait until this goat went yesterday? If you messed this trade up yesterday, you better darn well do it today. Oh, you did hold it. Good job. Jairo held the tip. Who else held tip yesterday? Here this goes. Let it drop and fall. Don't even touch your screen. This is going to break 92, and it could go right down, and we could be up a million dollars in a second. Uh, this was such a good call. Yesterday and today, for some reason, I thought, wait a minute. We shouldn't have even done the next PR, but don't worry about it. Um, this is on its own without the market. Jackie did not. I know you didn't, but that's okay. I had no problem with you getting out when the drop in the morning. That was the fast move. But Galahad moved the stop, and we are going to go over that so that no one else makes that same mistake again, ever again. He moved the stop and then got hit out with a small profit. And we are going to go over that. In fact, let's just go over it right now. Actually, let's go to the one minute. Be in this trade if you want to make money today, or you did the, if you did nothing... Or you did EXPR and took the stop. You could stop if you want, but I don't think you should. This is going to work. This is working. Uh, perfect entry in here. This in here was what we did, and I said you can get out if you want. You can get out if you want. You can get out if you want. Actually, no, it was right in here. It was before I closed out the room. So some of you did. That was perfectly fine. You got more than a buck move. That was fine. What I don't want you to do is stay with the trade lose conviction when it backs up, which it did here and here, and then either kill it arbitrarily or lower the stop at a place that shouldn't be lowered. 
And that's what Galahad did, but I know other people in here have made those, those critical mistakes before. If you really, and this is a lesson to be learned from here from everyone, if you really don't have the guts to hold something to a bigger move, then get out in the first drop in the morning, whatever it is, a dollar, 50 cents, whatever, low stress. So once this broken drop, if you can't deal with hanging on to it, because nine times out of 10, it's not gonna go right straight down. That's just not realistic. And this was very herky-jerky yesterday. Then you get out into the drop, boop, and you're out. And you don't get the bigger move. Now, I would have liked this to go more, but it was a nice move. But this is this is going to rock and roll today. Who's still in the put? Call a nice trade in the put. I know some of you got out. If you were in this put today, you want to exit this today when it has a big move. It's going to go to $90, and we're going to try to stay in it till then if we can. Anyways, Galahad lowered the stop over the 15-minute bar which it went over and then he got stopped out almost right up against where we took it. So don't, don't do that. Don't, don't ever make shift things to be tight with stuff. Bar by bar it if you're up in the one minute if you feel like it. But if you really can't hold through something or if you lose conviction, know yourself and get out into the first drop because you'll just mess up a profitable trade. Now this was still a profitable trade for him, but he gave most of the profit back. You can't expect things to keep going down. Boom, 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 boom. Every second, every minute until they go to the target. That's not realistic. And this particularly was very jerky yesterday morning. You saw it when we were in it. We took it and we were in it and I jumped the gun and then we were down until it went. You got to have conviction in the gap and in the entry that you're taking in it. And don't finagle putting stops at different places. This is going to break the low from yesterday. And when it does, it should drop like a brick. Market is heavy, and I don't think it continues and rallies today. We gap down. I don't think it has the energy, and I don't think it has the steam. I don't think it's going to go anywhere today between today and tomorrow unless it drops. It's either going nowhere or it's dropping because tomorrow's a big day with the whole summit thing. So this, we could have not done it all. This is just a piece of crap, but we lost in it, but we'll make money and tip. This other one here, uh, what happened with this? This was strange but worked. I did not want to do this. It looked like it didn't move. It looked like it wasn't moving. You've got ticks in here, and I don't want to trade something like that that has that little of a volume, but it did have a move, and it actually looked like it moved 70 cents. This is that. This is dropping. What else do we have going on? That's it. Here. I thought Tim might finish dropping today. That's what I said. Yeah, I said a lot of things about this. But the point is that don't move stops or pick a place to move a stop to be tight with something that is a place that it shouldn't have a stop to be moved. And actually, you guys know me that I never move my stops. So... Here this goes. Just let it fall. What a nice call. I'm so glad we did this. So you got to be in it if you want it. EXP are stopped. You got to shake it off. Shake the dust off your shoes and you do it and you're in it and let it drop. Eleven. Here this goes. This is going to fall right off the planet. We should get a dollar move right now when it breaks on you too. People went long this and then it didn't even really gap down. I expected this to actually gap down today. But then when I saw it not gapping down, it gapped up. It was kind of neutral. I thought, well, that's kind of weird. Actually, it was neutral. But I expected it to gap down. I'm so glad I remembered this. Today you want to exit the put in this, and we're going to day trade in a second day in a row. Apparently this is the gap of the week. Crap, should we add more if it breaks? I know it's going to, but then it's going to ruin our price. No, it's too far into our price. This is a nice call. This is a great call, everybody. This is a dollar right in here if you did it. Man, here, what's everybody doing? You're almost back around now. If you just did that AXPR and lost, you're almost back around in your day. Let it drop. Here. Wow. Uh, let's look and see what's going out today. Hang on a second. I just want to look and see if there's any econ. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Today is, what's today's date? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, tomorrow is the last day of November. 
the 29th. Crazy. Okay, we had some data out this morning. Here it goes, tip. One thing out tomorrow morning. Oh, the FMC minutes thing is out today at 2 o'clock. That's what's going on. 10 o'clock, 10.30. So we do have one thing in at 10, and we do have one thing at 10.30. We might be out of this by then. Let's see what earnings are out tonight. Um, HPQ. HPQ tonight. GME tonight. VMW tonight. Yay, HPQ would be really good if we get it. Let's look at tomorrow morning. Nothing really tomorrow morning. We need HPQ. Would be really good if we could get that. That's very nice to trade. All right, what's everyone doing? If you did the XPR, you're, you're out. If you didn't do anything, fine. If you didn't do anything, you want to do this. It's a little bit late, but you could still do it. Um, you can't be tight with the stop. And if you did this, then congratulations. You're almost back around if you did the XPR with the loss. And we're going to try to let this drop and break and have a profitable day. I think this goes to 90. I think it really goes to even 89. I have no idea where this goes, but you want to exit the put on this today that I called yesterday for those of you in the option letter. Any questions from anyone at all? So what's going to happen is it's 9.55. It is absolutely critical to have conviction in what you're doing. So. You know, for those of you in here that are back and forth with that, you have to like come to some kind of resolution within yourself before 2019 about that. You either have conviction or you don't have conviction. When you have conviction, it allows you to trade much, much better and make decisions better in life because you're not making fear-based decisions. When you lack the conviction, then you're all over the place in your head. It's, it's, like, it's like a headache, it's a fog, and then you're in a fear mode and then you don't do anything right. It's a disaster. So you must be in that place of conviction. If you don't know what I mean, then the best advice I can give you is to follow me to the letter. Not say you're following me and not really following me. Actually do what I actually say and actually do it. And don't deviate from it at all. That's probably the easiest thing to do. But if you can understand that conviction and feel that conviction, it really helps you trade a lot better. So right now, this is a great example. This just backed up, it didn't break 92, which touched on it, it got four pennies away. Does it mean the trade's not gonna work? Should you get out? Should you kill it? Is the whole thing a bust? Should you get upset? Should you be worried? Should you get out of the trade with the money you're up? Do you have conviction in this falling through or do you not have conviction in this falling through? See, these are all the things that you, you, you know, people go through in their mind. You're up in this trade, but now it just pushed back 40 cents. Does that make you feel afraid? Does it make you feel worried? Do you want to get out now? You're up. Do you understand how your brain works? This is taking so long to go that I'm pretty sure the drop's going to be even bigger than I expected. 
So market just doesn't have the energy today to go anywhere higher. So it's either going to stay stuck here in a range or it's going to drop. So it's either going to be range bound or drop. But if we start to drop big time through yesterday's bar, it, it could completely reverse it and then people are going to get nuts. So on TV yesterday, I said, this doesn't mean that everything is peaches and roses. Expect the volatility to continue 100%. And I didn't run out and call 100 overnight longs yesterday. First of all, the move was unexpected. And second of all, it's still not what it needs to be to say, this is it. We're going to go right back up to the high. So not that we won't, but I don't see that I don't see that here yet. I can't see that at all. So the fact is that expect more volatility was a good thing. We gapped down this morning. We're either going to be range bound today stuck all day and not even move or we're going to fall and if we start to fall really fall big one it's going to help this trade and you could be in it for hours if you want or two uh it will create a massive amount of selling of everybody that bought back in yesterday that will get scared and panicky and go nuts and this will help this and this could go let's just see let's just get crazy what could this really go to today 90 is not a crazy number what would be a crazy bird number for this somebody anybody What do you think is a crazy number for this for a target? <laughs> you get a little anxious, but every time you have a successful day, you push that feeling aside. Good for you. A crazy number for Koala Bear would be $85. Jackie's saying $89. No, I'm saying crazy. $89 isn't crazy. Eighty-nine is a target. Ninety is a target. Ninety-two is a target. It's almost there. Ninety-one. I'm talking insane. And I'm not saying anyone should hold it there, but I'm just saying, if the market falls, it could go there. What would be an insane number? Mimi said sixty. <laughs> Mimi, I don't think it's going to sixty, but that Mimi has the right idea. 